four o'clock, DJ, and you're ready to go. And we look at our watch, we're like, where's Marcia? So, you know, here you go, you're on time today. And, you know, so, but it all goes all the way back to creation, um, when God created Adam and Eve. He created Adam and Eve differently, and we're just different. Um, and what I want to say is, is all the, the things I truly believe, DJ, that, that you need, that God provided those in Marcia. So the things that you're like, you know what, I'm really good at all these things, but boy, there's some things I need some help in. I think, and God said, you know what, I have created Marsha to help you with it. And the same is true of you, Marsha, but more with DJ than with you. So, so what I want to say is, is that I, and, and I think, I think it's such a simple recipe for such a great thing. If the two of you treat each other as a gift from God, it will make an incredible difference in your marriages. If you think about one of the greatest gifts you've ever been given in your whole entire life, how you take care of that, how you treasure it, how you um, protect it, everything else. And I think if the two of you treat each other as a gift from God, it'll make a huge difference. And then I really like this, I think this is so appropriate for the two of you guys. It says in verse 10, love each other with genuine affection. So that means you hold your wife's hand when you're walking around. That means in the morning you guys give each other a kiss goodbye and say, hey, you know what, I love you. I hope you have a great day. And then when you get home, you kiss each other again and say, did you have a good day? I'm so glad you're home. It's just that little um, affection, and sometimes big affection, that gets us through the differences. And then in verse 10, it says in terms of your differences, take delight in honoring each other. So I just want to say, how do we honor each other? I want to say we honor each other in the way we talk to each other. So sometimes I'm surprised the way I hear husbands and wives talk to each other. What I believe is in marriage is I believe there's certain words that should never ever be spoken in a marriage relationship to one another. I think it's interesting when countries go to war, they'll say these weapons are out of bounds. We're not going to use them. And I think that the two of you need to have a discussion. Every married couple does and say, okay, what are the words that are out of bounds in our marriage relationship that we'll never use for one another? So I think that's how you get through the differences. And sometimes differences are a great joy, but sometimes it can be really, really frustrating. But as long as we're honoring each other and loving each other affectionately, I think we can get through those. And then the second thing, and I love this about this text, is that we're called to live unselfish lives. It says, never be lazy in your work. And I think it's never be lazy in your work of loving each other. So to accomplish that, we have to have an example. And obviously, you know where I'm going with this, no better example than Jesus. Jesus is the ultimate servant. The Bible says that he came into this world not to be served, but to serve. So the more to get plugged into Jesus, the more you look to his example, the more you fill yourself with him, the easier it is to serve. So every single day, and DJ, this, this is more, I believe, for you, because you're the man, and the Bible says that we as men are to love our wives as Jesus Christ loved the church. So every day you get to say, how do I get to be Jesus to Marcia today? How do I get to serve Marcia today? What am I going to do um, to lift her up and build her up and encourage her? And I'm telling you, it's, just, I mean, it's not rocket science. It's simple. And if the two of you will do those, I guarantee you, you guys will just celebrate the incredible love that you have for one another. Let's pray for DJ and Marcia. Our great God and Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the love that DJ and Marcia have for one another. We thank your God how you have formed them and shaped them over their whole entire life. We thank you, dear Lord, for their parents, for their constant encouragement in their life. And we just thank you, dear Lord, for the friends and family who can join together in this celebration. And we lift this all up to you in your holy and precious name. Amen. This time, we're going to exchange vows. Start with you, all right? Okay. Well, look at Marsha now. All right, there you go. <laughs> I, DJ, take you, Marsha, to be my wife. I, DJ, take you, Marsha, to be my wife.
two of you have chosen rings. They are circles that are unbroken. They will remind you of the vows that you made today, and we know that God's help. These vows be like these rings. the vows that you have made with a kiss.
property that has been vested in me it gives me a lot of joy to say that Marsha and DJ are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.